Ali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe. Right now, day one, Def Expo 2022. A special Def Expo here in Gandhi Nagar. We are sitting at Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. And I am today with Mr. Amit Mahajan, the group CEO of the Phoenix Group. Phoenix Group, which has Excalibur, Griffin, and Bitmapper. But here today, we are going to specifically talk about Bitmapper with Mr. Mahajan. Welcome to our chat room, sir. Thank you so much for your exclusive time. Being day one, it's busy, it's hectic, but still you have taken out time for us. Really, we are honored to have you. So, can we please start knowing more about the company Bitmapper? What's Bitmapper doing? What's it all about? So, Bitmapper is a electronics design firm that focuses on defense electronics. It started off as a design firm many years ago. Uh, we acquired Bitmapper in 2021 as part of the group. And now we are doing shifting from being just a pure design house into a company that produces products, end-to-end -end products for the defense industry. We focus heavily on electro-optic solutions, we focus heavily on guidance systems, so we work in missile guidance, we work in torpedo guidance, and we work in areas of um, in areas of barrel cleaning and some of these other products. So we are now creating fully integrated systems which can be delivered to the Indian forces and which can create an effective edge for the Indian forces in the market, in the, in the, in the warfare situation, in the battle. Um, one of our key areas where we excel is in AI. So we were listed as one of the fastest growing AI companies in the defense sector in India early this year uh, at DEFEX, AI DEFEX. And uh, that's why we are also um, exhibiting here with some of our products. We are, we are excited to be here. We have had a lot of visitors from the Army Navy Airport since morning. And uh, thank you for being patient. I know I've been running away from you every once in a while. So I appreciate your patience. Well, just before we started this interview, we were talking to you about bed mapping and being indigenously Indian. Would like to know more about bitmapping. Why you said it is all Indian? It is all indigenously Indian. So historically, uh, Indian organizations as well have been importing products um, from various parts of the world, from Germany, from the United States, from Israel, and from Russia, and then rebranding them as made in India. In fact, they have been assembled in India. Bitmapper, we have taken a different way. In we have taken the hard route into the defense industry where we design, we manufacture and we present, assemble everything here in India, in Pune, India. So the intellectual property is owned by Indian companies, the intellectual property is housed in India and all of the revenues stay within part of India. So I think that's the reason I say it is 100% indigenous. As you said, you have taken the hard way. Why so? What was the idea behind taking this way? Because most of the business, when they start in India, and you already know that a lot of foreign companies are already into the market, are already playing here. Why do you want to do it in a hard way, which might not give you so much of output? So, the interesting thing is losing dependency. Okay, Prime Minister Modi ji has started an initiative called Atman Atmanirbhar is self-reliance. And the reason why he started this is because we have had so much dependency on Russia, we have so much dependency on Israel, we have so much dependency on other countries for the defense of our own country. Now, uh, while these are good friends of ours, we still need to understand that when it comes to protecting our motherland, we ourselves have to put our best foot forward. Okay. So that was one thing. The second thing is, you know, I think as Phoenix Group, we are on a 25 year journey, not a 5 year journey. We will be here after 25 years as well. Okay. We are not funded by a venture capitalists. We are self-funded. We are completely bootstrapped. Whatever we have built over here is entirely bootstrapped. We are profitable and cash flow positive as well. Okay. Which is kind of unheard of these days. Right? Because the idea and the game plan is get VC funding, build a product, get a few customers and dump it and go make a lot of money. That's not our game plan. 
Our game plan is to build a durable company which will last beyond my lifetime, beyond our senior leadership lifetime, and which will serve the nation, which will work for the well-being of our people in India and of our, of our employees and our customers worldwide. That's the reason we have taken the hard way. It is the durable way. It is the way where we can scale. We have zero dependency on other people. Now, having said that, we are opportunistic. It doesn't mean that we will invent every single thing ourselves. So, where there are requirements to partner with other people, we will partner with them. We will be very opportunistic and very deliberate about it. But we choose those places and those things very um, with a lot of thought. It is not it is not off the cuff. And and we really hate rebranding anything. We are very proud of what we have created and we are very proud of what we are on the journey that we are on. So all our AI, all our electronics, all our designs are designed in India and we are extremely, extremely proud of it. Great. So according to you, this specific move that you have taken with indigenous Indian, it is going to take your company on a long way rather than those who have been assembling who are just, it's an exchange of ideas, right? right? If I'm not wrong. Now, coming to this specific show, Def Expo 2022, this time, it's the new concept or the concept which was being asked by all the Indian manufacturers to make it only for Indian companies. A five-day show which is promoting only the Indian industry. Even the foreign industry which is here, it has to be a collaboration with the Indian industry. Otherwise, they are not here. How do you take this move? And how it is going to help a company like Bitmapping to showcase your products, to um, get more clients or more even foreign uh, investors or foreign uh, companies? So, I think there is a saying, if you don't say good things about your own child, how will the world say anything good about him or her, right? It, the most important part I feel is, is the ability for a country to bring up the industry within that country. Okay? It, is, it is the responsibility of the country and the leaders of the country to enable growth of their own industry and then go out and proliferate that across the world to help the other countries around the world, to help the friends. I, I think making this show entirely Indian has allowed the Indian companies and the Indian bureaucrats, the Indian uh, forces to recognize and see what is available in India. Right? All these years, the foreign companies were coming in and dominating these shows. Right? They have huge money which they can come in and buy the, and basically edge the Indian manufacturers out. It would be impossible for Bitmapper to stand next to a very large foreign entity out there, right? However, I feel that giving us an opportunity to do it this way, the government is enabling the world to see what we are capable of and hopefully that translates into business for us, allows us to grow and then compete at the world level, right? We want, we don't want to play gully cricket all our life. We want to be playing World Cup, right? But to get to the World Cup, you have to first play the gully cricket and to play the Ranji Trophy. That is the progress that you have to make. I am really thankful to the government for taking this move, for making this move, because I feel it is a great, uh, it is a, it is a great ability of the government and the industry to come together, collaborate, and then create something more beautiful and bigger. It was really good to know from you the thoughts that you have for a complete indigenous Indian company, how it should be done and how uh, Def Expo is helping you, how the government is helping companies like this by doing shows like this. Thank you so much Mr. Mahajan, it was a pleasure speaking to you and we really look forward to seeing you even in the foreign shows in your future so that business increases and of course you understand that taking products from India to outside, it gives a complete different exposure. Very different. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. So thanks a lot and all of you.